Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're gonna be doing some more complex word problems of differentiation. So, and this is still the same exercise, exercise 12.1, and we're gonna do question number eight and question number 10. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So this says, uh, this question says here, the curve y equals to ax squared plus bx has gradient eight when x equals to minus two and has gradient minus 10 when x equals to minus one. Okay, now, if you look at this equation closely, other than x and y, you can see that you have two unknowns, okay? One is a and the other is b. Now, usually when that happens, that means we are likely to end up with two equations, which we're then gonna solve simultaneously in order to find the value of a and b, okay? So this is something that you should just keep in mind before you actually solve the question, okay? So I'm looking for two equations, hopefully, okay? Uh, which, like I said, we're gonna solve simultaneously to find the value of a and b, okay? So notice that the question is talking about the gradient here, so that means the question is talking about what? It's talking about dy by dx, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is before I can plug anything in the equation is differentiate it, okay? So we're gonna treat a and b as just two constants, okay, since that's what they are. So two gets multiplied by a, so that becomes two a, and we reduce the power of x by one. So now we have just x plus b, okay? It's like differentiating three x, which is three, two x, which is two. So bx will just be b. Okay, now this, this set of values will help us form one equation when gradient is eight, gradient eight when x equals to two. So that means we're gonna replace dy by dx by eight, and we're gonna plug in x as two. Okay, so if you plug in x as two, so two into two, that's four a plus b. So you can see that we now have one equation which is clearly insufficient to find the value of a or the value of b. Okay, so let's rewrite dy by dx, which is two a x plus b. This time we're gonna use these set of values, gradient minus 10 when x is one. So we're gonna replace dy by dx by minus 10. Let me just turn this to red, there you go. And the value of x is minus one. So this becomes two into a into minus one, which means minus two a plus b. Okay, so this right here is our second equation. Now you can solve the two equations simultaneously through elimination or substitution, whatever you want. I think I'm gonna go with elimination. So I'm just gonna rewrite the first equation as it is. Eight equals to four a plus b. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna multiply this equation by two. Reason is so that uh, this minus two a turns into minus four a and then we can eliminate. Okay, you can do this in your calculator to save some time if you want. Okay, so minus 20 equals to minus 4a plus 2b. Now let's add the two equations. So 4a minus 4a gets canceled out. This becomes 3b, sorry, not 3a. Uh, minus 8, uh, 8 minus 20 is minus 12. So that means, let's write this nicely, 3b equals minus 12, which means b is equals to minus 4, which is the correct answer, thankfully. Okay, so now let's use any one of the two equations. So I'm gonna use the first equation, which was eight equals to four a plus b, which means eight is equals to four a minus four, which means four a equals to 12, which means a is equals to three. And there you go. We now have not only the value of a, but the value of b also, three and minus four. Yep, that's the correct answer. Okay, now let's do another question. This is question number 10, which I think is quite a lengthy question, not necessarily complex, but it's lengthy. So it says here, find the coordinates of the points on this curve, so and so, where gradient is two. Okay, so a couple of things to observe over here. The question is asking you to find the coordinates, that means X and Y. And not only that, it's asking you to find the coordinates of the points. What does that mean? That means there's gonna be more than one. Could be two, could be three. Let's find out, okay? And special thing about these points is that this is where the gradient is two. So gradient in this case basically means what? basically means dy by dx, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna differentiate the equation, okay? So be careful when you're doing that. Three gets multiplied, so now we have three x squared over three minus two and five get multiplied, so that's 10 x upon two plus six, and what happens when you differentiate one? It becomes zero. Okay, so this simplifies two ones are, two fives are, so now we have x squared minus five x plus six. So this is what dy by dx is equal to. Now remember, we're looking for the value or perhaps values of x where the gradient is equal to two. So that means I'm gonna set this equal to two since this is what dy by dx is. So we bring everything over to the left hand side. So that means x squared minus five x, uh, six minus two is four equals to zero. Let's solve this using a calculator, although you can do middle term breaking also, but let's just save some time. So one minus five and four. So we're looking at the two values of x, which one of them is four, or 
the other is one. Okay, now if you stop here, that means you're not gonna get full marks because remember what you've done so far is you've only found out the value of x. You still need the value of y. So in order to find out the value of y, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these values one by one and we're gonna plug them in the original equation. That means in the equation of the curve. So here goes, four cube upon three minus five into four squared upon two plus six into four minus one. Okay, so I'm just gonna work this out directly in the calculator again. Objective is to save time. So four cube upon three minus five bracket four squared. Whoops, forgot to make the fraction sign. Minus five bracket four squared upon two plus six into four minus one. Okay, so we're looking at y equals to 13 over three, which is the correct answer. But make sure to write it in point form. That means the way we normally write the coordinates of a point, x comma y. So four comma 13 upon three, so that's one point. And then let's find out the other y coordinate for which, whoopsie, we're gonna plug in the x coordinate one. So let's see what happens when we do that. So y is equals to one cube upon three minus five into one squared upon two plus six into one minus one. Okay, so let's do that. Let's replace four with one in the expression that I've already made in the calculator. So let's see, we get 17 over six, which is again, the correct answer. So y is equals to 17 over six. And again, don't forget to write it in point form. So one comma 17 over six. Okay, now before you walk away from this question, just sort of see if your solution is, is making sense or not, okay? And remember, what did the question ask us to find? It asked us to find the coordinates of the point at which the gradient was equal to two. And that's what we did. We found out the gradient function, dy by dx, that is, equated it to two. We got the values of x where the gradient is equal to two. And how do you find the corresponding y value? You do that by plug plugging in the x coordinate in the original equation to get the y value. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've understood these two uh, complex problems. Uh, they weren't exactly complex. Anyway, let me know in the comment section if you found these problems complex, okay? So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to differentiate composite functions. So make sure to check that out. So I'll see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.